What's up? Hmm. What's up, gang? No. What's up? No. Crap, you take one week off and you just lose it. What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. I am Billy Hardy, your host of Mix and Tricks. Guys, I did take last week off. I apologize. I had some uh, things that came up, uh, some personal things that came up, so I couldn't jump on the channel and record anything. Also, I've got some exciting news stuff that's going to happen to this channel. That's right. We're going to step up the game just a little bit more, but I can't, I can't let all the secrets out just yet. It's in the works. But on this episode, I thought it would be a good idea to give you five essential tools that you would need to start your own bar or to be a professional bartender. But first, before we get into the video, do me a huge favor. Over here, you see that? That's the subscribe button. I need you to smash that. Go ahead and hit it. I need all the love I can get. See this? That's the notification bell right up there. By smashing the notification bell, you get notified every time I post a video, and I've got a lot of videos that I do not want you to miss. So guys, on with the video. All right guys, so like I was saying, I'm going to give you the top five tools that you're gonna need to start a bar. Now, I was asked a question by someone, hey, what do I need? I, I got a bar and I wanna just get some tools so I just kind of basically got the juices flowing in the head and I said you know what that would probably make a good video I haven't gone over any of those things plus I'm getting ready to up the ante on my barware by my affiliate barfly that's right barfly and go ahead it's the links down in the description for all these items that I'm about to talk about go ahead and pick them up it's gonna make you look so good when you're a professional bartender or when you have those private parties, if you're just for your home bar, people are gonna be like, where'd you get that? That's so, that, that's sexy, that's sexy. It's gonna make you stand out from all the rest. So guys, here's number one. For me, the number one tool that you're gonna need as a professional or a home bartender is a jigger. Now, of course, the one that I use here is a one and a half ounce by half ounce jigger. You've seen that many times on the channel before. Uh, but I'm going to turn go to a two ounce and a one ounce uh, Especially the one here that's got the measurements on it so you can measure it out now the, the importance of a jigger One you don't want to short your customer if you're a professional bartender. You don't want to under pour your drinks and two you don't want to over pour that cost the bar money and it could cost you your job so number one is a good old jigger all right, gang, coming in at number two, that would be the shaker. A very crucial part of a bar is a shaker. Now, there's a couple styles of shakers that you see me use. I've used the Japanese style, which is your classic martini look, where it has the uh, strainer on top that caps it, shake it up, and you pour it out. I don't particularly care for that. The reason being is that it creates a seal that you, it's almost virtually impossible to take the top off. You have to let it rest for a little while before you can uh, pop that top off. But the second one is the one I use most common. It's going to be the Boston style shaker, which comes in a big tin. You can either use a 16 ounce glass, mixing glass on it. I prefer to do, and what's, what I'm going to upgrade to here on the channel, is a double tin, which you have a smaller tin and a bigger tin. Now, a good tip with the smaller tin, if you fill that small tin up with ice, that's the exact amount of ice that is perfect to shake the big shaker. And it locks in nicely. You don't get splashed with liquor all over you or juice. And it's easier to tap it and to break that seal and to pop it open. So number two is going to be your shaker. All right, guys, coming in at number three is a strainer. There's a lot of things that you're going to use that or drinks that you're going to make that has fruits and juices and seeds and crushed ice. And you don't want to get those especially into your martini glass when you, you're making something that's neat. Uh, so a strainer is super important. There's a couple of types of strainers, the Hawthorne strainer that I per prefer to use, and there's the julep strainer. Now the Hawthorne fits nicely on top. You're going to see that one here. The Hawthorne, you see it's got the spring, it locks in. It has two ways to lock it. You can lay it on top, it allows for small little ice chips to fall in, 
or you can lock it all the way. Allows no ice chips to get through, or you could double strain by taking the Hawthorne, locking it in, and straining it through another smaller strainer. The julep sits on top of a glass and you just pour it in. I don't use those because I don't, one, there's different sized glasses and it doesn't always fit. And it just seems to me to be more messier than the Hawthorne style strainer. So yeah, the strainer. All right guys, like I said, all these items that I'm talking about will be in the description down below. So if you feel like that you wanna pick up some of the stuff, please go down below, pick them up order them helps out the channel helps me out because i gotta pay for all this stuff and you get a bunch of cool stuff as well all right gang coming in at number four is going to be the classic bar spoon now that is a very crucial when i say crucial i mean crucial part of a bar set uh i don't know if i can say crucial again but i'm gonna say crucial because there's a lot of drinks that you're gonna make out there that aren't shaken they're going to be stirred classic martini uh, which actually if you're not james bond you're actually going to have to stir that up instead of shake it uh, your manhattans your old fashions the list goes on and on where you have a good spoon you can stir it up correctly uh, you're going to want one with a spiral kind of helps you if you want to twist it makes it mix up a little bit easier it looks kind of cool and classy when you're in front of your customers also by turning the bar spoon over using the bowl the back of the bowl of the spoon it helps with layering of different drinks some of your shots some of your drinks that you have to layer or float something on top it is crucial there you go i <laughs> say crucial again that you have a good bar spoon so guys number four is that it's going to be the bar spoon yeah right there all right guys coming in at number five the last one is going to be the muddler now i prefer to use a wooden muddler like this one I don't like the plastic or the aluminum mudlers. I just I feel like it's, there's something about it just seems cheap. Uh, you can get a good grind. You have double ends on the muddler. So with a good wooden muddler, you can grind it, break it down, and it just, they, something classy about a nice wood muddler that just, it just looks good. Looks good. And here we muddle a lot of things in the South. We have our, uh, your old fashions and also we're big on our mojitos here where you got to crush the mint leaves and mix all the sugar and all that fun stuff together so a good muddler is a fantastic tool to add to your set all right gang there you have it the five uh, essential tools that i think you should start your bar with but here are some other honorable mentions that i think that are crucial to also have around the house in the bar or whatever the case may be uh, which you can also pick up in my affiliate down below. I'll leave the link down for that as well. But you want a good set of tongs, because remember, we don't touch the ice. It's gross. It's disgusting. You want to get a good knife to cut the fruit, good cutting board. Uh, keep that knife sharp, because it makes it life easier to cut that fresh fruit. You're going to want a, a good juicer. So when you have that juice, because we don't use that store-bought shit. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, you want freshly squeezed lemon and lime juice. Uh, a mixing beaker, it's not essential. You can use a 16 ounce glass, it mix just as nicely. But for presentation wise, to have a nice mixing beaker is, it's pretty cool, pretty cool, yeah. And also a good wine tool, something that is nice and heavy. It's got the foil cutter on the end because you're gonna use that foil cutter, cutter for other things other than cutting foil. Trust me, I've been bartending for a very long time and that thing has come in so handy. I didn't think I'd really use a wine tool all that much, but I also pop bottles with it. So it's if you get a good wine tool, it's not just for wine, folks. You can use it for all sorts of things. I would prefer to get you get a double hinge is what I have. Uh, they're single and double. I like the double hinge. It just makes my life a little easier. Also, if you don't wanna go and buy each individual thing, uh, a la carte i have a link down below as well for a nice set bar set that has a nice roll-up case that you can carry around with you to your private gigs to your main bartending gigs or when you have friends over at your home bar that you can just roll out man i'm telling you what if you want to look like a stud or just just a badass bring one of those 
you're gonna love it. Yeah, so and that's gonna be in the link down below too. Like I said, guys, click those links, buy the stuff if you want to. It's a way for you to help me out, like I said, and also get some great bar gear. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I will be back again. I'm not taking any more weeks off. I just had, some, like I said, some private things that have come up and some cool stuff. I, I just wanna tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you, you're gonna have to wait. It's like Christmas, you can't open that gift. But yeah, I'm excited. I am excited. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If, if you don't like the video, give me a thumbs up anyway because I love you. Yeah, that's, and it, that's all that matters. So I need the thumbs up, show the love back. Also, don't forget to do all the fun stuff like hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment down below because I love to hear and read every single one of your comments. So guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.